NAC had advised the Medang Chamber of Commerce and Tourist Industry Association of its plans to shut down Medang Airport from 23rd July to 13th August. This is to allow for the work on the full length of the Medang Aerodrome to be completed before the public can utilize the full services of the airport. But President of the Medang Chamber of Commerce, Kevin Murray says a total closure of the airport for two weeks or more is detrimental for a tourism province like Medang. Well, it's going to be a situation which will have a dramatic effect on Medang business in general and the uh, hotel and, and, and guest house industry in particular. Um, not only that, uh, with the shutdown, there will be virtually no cargo coming into Medang. Uh, currently, it's difficult to get cargo on the Dash 8 that's coming in because it's limited. And so when the shutdown happens, if we've got a tornado coming in again, there won't be any cargo. Medang has five major hotels and a number of large guest houses, including businesses that depend on customers who fly into the province. He added that partial closure of the airport has already affected businesses. We are already suffering in Medang from two things. One is from the COVID-19 like everyone else in the country is. So the COVID-19 has uh, put a dampener on business in Medang. The hotels are already suffering because of COVID-19. Uh, again, because of uh, uh, lack of travel. So most of the hotels in Medang are now operating at below now, around 30 or 40 percent occupancy rate, which for a hotel is very low and uh, maybe break even. So, this situation now, when there will be no travel in and out of Medang, is going to mean that some hotels might even have to close down for that period. It'll, as I said, it will be catastrophic. Business houses rely on the shipment of cargo in and out of Medang via TNT and DHL but this will be severely affected. Murray adds if the upgrading work is behind schedule, the two-week shutdown is unlikely to make a difference. The acting chairman of the Medang Tourist Industry Association, Sir Peter Bata, in a media statement says the closure would prevent any New Guinea or airlines of PNG aircraft from landing. The only aircraft able to land would be restricted to a twin auto or smaller aircraft or helicopter. But the capacity required and the cost of chartering aircraft to provide bridging flights to lay would be expensive. Members of the Medang Tourist Industry Association, that includes most hotels and businesses, condemned the way NAC has handled the upgrading of the airport adding the impact on the economy, including the possible closure of hotels and other businesses that rely on air transport. Martha Lewis, National MTV News, Medang.